Absolute genius. You're so right. Talk to me, though, very quickly, Dean, about the Di Maria goal and how oh, fantastic that was from start to finish for Argentina because it began with that great first-time ball from Molina into McAllister, who then plays it very quickly around the corner, doesn't he, to yeah. Messi? And, and it was just wonderful. Go back a bit see. further. Go on. Alvarez closing down the left back, made him kick it up the channel. They win the ball back. From that point, it was they they worked their socks off. Argentina looked like they were desperate to win the tournament. France didn't until they got equalised, and they were they were back on the bridle. But Argentina from the off, they've, it's like as if the world's against us. We've got to win it, or we've got to win it for Messi. But the goal you're on about, they pressurised. They get France have to hit it long. They win the ball back. Messi's touch round the corner, oh. his control and touch it was just class. Normal players can't do that, what he done there, mm. with somebody behind him as well. Um, and the, McAllister makes a, a great run through the middle. Absolutely, yeah. I did think at one point when I watched the don't, replay... Don't put a blemish on this goal now. Where well, are you going with this? Well, it's a great finish. Well, it wasn't a great finish, actually. It was a great pass from McAllister yeah. that set Di Maria up. So he had time to look at the goalkeeper, the ball. It was rolling nicely for him. I think he's hit it into the ground. Okay, and it's yeah, gone over. It's gone over the keeper's legs, mm-hmm. Larice's legs. But I did think at one point, could Larice have read it? Oh, now you're trying and to got put, out. You're, you're putting a negative spin on well, a goal that me, we're no, going to be just, talking about for I, years I'm and years and years. There. You are a bit harsh. I'm a bit harsh on it. But I did think, well, how could you, when you're a manager, you think, how could you stop that? Yeah, okay. I get what you're saying. So and I'm, I'm thinking, sure... could he have read it? But maybe not. He had to get his near post covered. But McAllister's vision... And well done to Brighton and Old Albion, by the way. I've got to mention that. <laughs> to have a player yeah. playing in the World Cup. They've never had a player anywhere near playing in the World Cup. And to have a winner coming back I to the know. club now. When the club was out on its feet, yes. playing yeah, yeah, yeah. in the With Dean Stadium, what, 12, 13 years ago, not long ago. Mm-hmm. And they've yeah. got a player yeah. coming back to the club now, World, World Cup World winner. Cup. I know, that is different. So it's great for all the supporters at Brighton. But... Um, what a game, I mean, I'm still out of breath. But they had it on this morning again, when we woke up. Well, that, that's Four o'clock this you're morning. Right, you're right, I think there will be a lot of people, and I can see messages already coming through, just indicating how exciting that final was, how breathless it was, how, as we've said already, 70-odd minutes into the game, in fact, yes, just 75, 76 minutes into the game, you're thinking, oh, Argentina has got this sewn up. And then they get a lifeline and Mbappe with that penalty that he scores after Otamendi's foul on Mawani. And you kind of see this change, sudden, a sudden shift. And suddenly France have perked up. Argentina have been floored by the fact that they've just conceded a penalty. And then they quickly, what was it, one minute and 37 seconds between that penalty and then Mbappe's second goal. What a volley. I know, I know. Again, see, you know, we could be waxing lyrical about, about that goal as well because it was so fantastic. And the nod from um, Marcus Turam as well to play in um, yeah. Mbappe for the goal was fantastic. There was just so many fabulous moments in that game. I don't and it's know it was so marketing. sad that it had to be ended on a penalty shootout in a way because that's heartbreak. Oh, I wasn't sad. Oh, no, I find it heartbreak. Cause, you well, know, heartbreak someone always... for the French players, you mean? Uh, indeed, yeah. because, you know, ine- inevitably Somebody's there's fault. always someone yeah. misses... And sadly, that was that situation. You do, you do hope it's not a young lad, don't you? Absolutely. You hope that it's not I know, a I know. Saka done it, didn't he? And well, of course. Um, but the volley, I don't know who was marking Mbappe, right? Before the ball come to him, yeah. they're obviously thinking, it's Mbappe, I've got to get tight. <laughs> and he's got that close to him, and he's just, it's only Mbappe and Messi could have scored that goal, I think. The way he's just headed it inside. Mm hmm and left the fullback for dead. And then the ball's come back to him, a real awkward volley. He's leaning, his left shoulder is going down to the ground, and it's really hard to hit that ball into the ground the way he did. And apparently, Adidas have got stats on the ball, yeah. the ball speed. You're that right. was the hardest strike in the whole World Cup, that, vo- that volley he hit in the corner. So I'm not blaming Larice for that one, it was a great finish. <laughs> and then, like you said... The, the manager, Deschamps, you have to say well done to him because he gave him some life. You know, he brought some players on. He brought he brought Moani on, um, Kamavinga come on, uh, just legs, Turam come on, mm-hmm. all all young athletes. They've got a bright future, France, when you look at them players that come on. Mm-hmm. 
You know they've lost, but yeah, exactly. And yes, they did. They did lose, and it was controversial in some ways to have brought off Dembele and to bring off Giroud. Not really that long until half time. You could have sort of thought they might have got to half time and then made those changes. It was brave, but those changes that came on, they were massively, massively influential because both uh, Kolo Mwani and uh, Chiram had a part to play in both the goals that got it to extra time for France. A massive credit to Didier Deschamps, who still has his critics in France, despite the fact. He has brought massive success to them. Um, but it is Argentina who are celebrating this morning. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.